Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the cinematography pack for Blender. So I've got the pack in front of me and we've got chaotic, cinematic, flyovers, pans, pushes and pulls and zooms. And then we've also got the how to use text just there. But I'm not going to show you that because today I'm going to show you how to use these. So I've got some example projects just here. So if we open up this one, this one's called Mint Candy. Now I've downloaded these from BlendSwap, so I didn't actually make these projects just to make that clear, but I'm just going to show you how to import files from the cinematography pack. So we've got this project here, and by the looks of it, somebody has made a very nice tin of mints. And if we want to import a camera move into this project, all we need to do is go to File, Append, and then Locate the cine pack and then you've got all these different categories here I'm gonna go for cinematic and 360 degree track double click on the project double click collection and then double click on camera and then as you can see that's imported the camera move in so if we just hit zero you can see that the camera move is there but it's not quite right, we need to make the circle bigger. So all of the camera moves are completely customizable. So what you can do is click on this uh, circle, hit S and just scale it up. And if we open up a new window here, press zero, scale it up a bit more until it looks about right. So if we just play through that, that looks nice. But now the problem we're having is it doesn't do the full 360 degrees. So all we need to do is click on the camera, hit 7 so we get a top view, see where it starts just here, and then go to the end keyframe, and if you hit G, you can actually spin this around, put it back on the starting point, hit I, and location rotation scale to insert that keyframe, and now it is doing the full 360 degrees. But it's a little bit too fast, so what you can do is just grab this keyframe here and then let's make it about 200 frames. So now that should do the 360 degrees a lot slower. Another thing you can do is uh, move this ring up or down and the camera stays fixated on whatever is on the middle of the ring. That's because we have got an empty just here which the camera is connected to so if we just go back into solid mode and maybe lift that up slightly maybe something like that and that's starting to look a lot nicer so let's say you want the camera to end on this side of the tin what you can actually do is grab this handle here this arrow and if you hit R Z you can spin the entire animation around without actually affecting the animation itself. So if we hit rendered view on this one and then go to our end frame just here, grab this little arrow handle and spin it around until we end up something like that. And then what we can do is grab the disc again, and maybe lift that up like this, maybe zoom the camera lens in, so go for 80mm, yeah that's, that looks good. And then we'll play this, and that is our animation. So I've got another one to show you. We've got this one here. Someone has created a really nice moon in Eevee. I'll just quickly show you this. As you can see, that looks very, very nice. Go back into solid view. And what we need to do is same again. Go file, append, locate the pack. And let's go for cinematic and push forward, pan up. That could be nice. Double click project, double click collection and camera. Hit zero and you can see that this is what we've got so far. Very nice and cinematic, but we want the camera to end 
with the moon a little bit closer and central. So same as the other shot in the other project, you can grab this little handle here and you can mess with this and change it however way you want and it will not affect the camera animation. So you can see we've got the push there. So you can see that push and then you can move this around, change it around, rotate it, scale it, do whatever you want with it and it will all remain the same. So if we hit zero with the arrow selected and then maybe go to the end frame, we can bring this in a bit, maybe bring it a little bit closer. And now we've got something a little bit more cinematic. So because the light's on the other side of the moon, I want to rotate this. So if you hit seven and then hit R, Z, minus 90 to rotate that, hit G. And then what we can do is make sure that this crosshair is inside the moon because this is our point of interest. So just drag that there, hit zero. And now this is what we've got. As you can see, very nice, very cinematic, super quick and easy. And we've just added some production values with a few clicks and what, a minute or two. So let's get off this and just show you one more example. We've got a dojo here. And what we actually have here is a ninja in a dojo. So if I just show you this animation, we've got some slow motion kicking going on. Uh, it's a really nice animation, but we want to add some cinematic flair to this. So what do we do? Go to File, Append, Locate the Pack. And let's go for... We could even go for a Contra Zoom. So double-click Contra Zoom, Collection, Camera. And then make sure you click this so we can see. And here we go, we can see what's going on. So there's our camera move. So the camera is just sliding forward and the lens is changing along with the animation. So like with the rest of them, you can click this arrow here and you can move the shot around. So let's bring this, let's bring this forward on the Y, maybe rotate it. Bring this over here a little bit, rotate a bit more, hit zero to enter the camera. With the arrow selected, you can move it around. So if we sort of pan this up a little bit, let's have a look. Immediately, that looks incredibly cool. So if we just move that back a little bit, just playing around with different shots. So we want the end frame to be there. Let's just scrub back and see what we've got. And there we've got a nice cinematic contra zoom that is pretty hard to achieve if you don't know what you're doing, but with the cine pack, just a few clicks, a few minutes, and you've instantly got this shot all pre-rendered, all done for you. So again, we can just sort of play with this. If we just scrub back a little bit. Still with the arrow selected, maybe rotate, hit G. Maybe we want to rotate it round so it's facing the ninja a little bit better, maybe there. Let's scrub back. And what you can even do is keyframe and animate the arrow as well. So if we sort of rotate this to about there, hit I, lock rot scale, move to the end. And then maybe end just about there. Hit I, lock rot scale, go back. And now all of a sudden, we've added some more dynamic movement to that shot. That looks really cool. Maybe I'm just going to bring this down a little bit more. Maybe bring it back. A 
Block what scale, go back, take a look. Awesome, and that's it. I will render this out and show you the finished results. So that is the cinema pack with just a few clicks and a few minutes. You can drastically improve your production values on your projects. And you've got so many of these to choose from. We literally only just scratched the surface. You've got chaotic flyovers, pans, and I will be adding more to this pack as time goes on as well. So that's it for, today, for today's video. If you did enjoy, please leave a comment or a like. And if you need any help with this whatsoever, please feel free to drop me an email at films.lewismartin at gmail.com. Thank you.